Hi, how are you? My name is Brian, the actuary farmer here. So today I'm going to give you a secret ingredient on how to formulate your own broiler starter mash and broiler starter finisher. This is a secret ingredient. This one will make your broilers be ready for the market in 35 days. So make sure you follow it keenly. <coughs> So I'll start out by stating the main ingredients that we'll use in the formulation of our feeds. So these are the main ingredients that you'll, you'll need in the formulating of your own feeds. One, maize, soybean meal, wheat, rice polish, methionine, lysine, uh, meat and bone meal, choline chloride, choline chloride, not chlorine, chloride, then palm and canola oil, DCP, and the broiler premix. So on the stated, on the stated ingredients, I have another video explaining the nutritional contents of each ingredient that we are using in our formulation of our feeds. So make sure you watch it. I'll post it up here. So, I don't know is up here or up here. Then, so we have the maize, the soya bean, the wheat, the methionine, the lysine, and the premixes. I've posted them in my previous video. So make sure you watch it out so that you can be enlightened. On the nutritional contents of those ingredients. The first, the first ingredient we'll start with is the rice porridge. The rice porridge has a higher protein content and carbohydrates. Also, it has higher amino acids compared to other cereal grains. So that's why we use the rice polish here. Because you know the rice polish is usually found when when the rice is milled so that people can get the white rice. So the rice polish, it has over 80% of the nutritional, nutritional content of the rice rather than the white rice that we usually eat on the table. Then we'll go to our, our second ingredient here, which is the meat and bone meal. The meat and bone meal has both the minerals and it also has a higher protein content and amino acids which are at an affordable price compared to other protein sources then we'll go to the choline chloride choline chloride make sure it is the choline chloride not chlorine chloride the choline chloride the, this one is usually helps in the prevention of something known as pyrolysis pyrolysis is where by the tendons of the legs of, of a chick they split so the chicken will be the chick will be unable to walk so that's why we need the the choline chloride in our formulation of our feeds Another importance of the choline chloride in the formulation of our feeds is that the choline chloride helps in the prevention of something known as a disease known as fatty liver syndrome. Fatty liver syndrome is whereby fat accumulates into the liver. That occurs when the chicken consumes too much starch. That's the energy, energy, high energy food contents like maize, whereby usually in Africa some people usually feed the maize because it is readily available and it is cheaper to their chicken so that they can save on production costs and that one can lead to the fatty, li fatty liver syndrome disease so that's why we use the choline chloride to prevent that so we'll go straight to the feed formulation of the broiler starter mash and then to the broiler finisher mash so the broiler starter mash is fed between day one up to day 21 then the broiler finisher mash is fed between day, 20, day, day 22 to market day which is day 35 in our case for the broilers and for the hybrid, it will be fed between week 1 to week 6. Then between week 6 to week 10, they will be fed on, on broiler finisher mash. So we'll go straight to our formulation of our feeds. This formulation is for 100 kg bag of broiler starter mash. You can interpolate the figures if you want to make a turn. So we'll start with the first ingredient. We have the whole maize. You'll need 40.32 kgs. The soya bean meal, you'll need 29 kgs. The wheat, you'll need 9 kgs. Rice polish, you'll need 7 kgs. Meat and bone meal, you'll need 7.8 kgs. Salt, you'll need 300 grams. Methionine, 200 grams. Lysine, 30 grams. Broiler premix, 250 grams. Palm straw canola oil, you'll need 3.5 kgs. DCP, you'll need 2.5 kgs. Choline chloride, you'll need 100 grams. So we'll go to the formulation of broiler finisher mash. This is a secret ingredient. This will be fed between day 22 for the broilers and for the hybrid, it will be fed between week 7 up to week 10, whereby they'll be ready for market, whereby they will be weighing over 1.3 kgs to 2 kgs depending with the breed that you are using as a hybrid or for the broilers. So we'll go straight 
the formulation of 100 kg of broiler finisher mash. So I will start with the whole maize, 43.64 kgs, soya bean meal, 22.55 kgs, wheat, 10 kgs, rice polish, 10 kgs, meat and bone meal, 9 kgs, salt, 250 grams, methionine, 180 grams, lysine, 30 grams, broiler premix, make sure you're using the broiler premix here, the broiler premix. You'll need 250 grams, palm straw canola oil, 4 kgs, colin chloride, you'll need 100 grams. So this is the secret ingredient for those who want to formulate their own feeds at a cheaper price. Or can I say an affordable price at the comfort of their home or their farm. So I've said like for those who want to formulate their feeds for, for the hybrid birds, they will be ready in 10 weeks. And those who want to formulate the broilers, they will be ready by 35 days. So that is only five weeks of age, five to six weeks they'll be ready for the market. So make sure you follow it strictly and make sure not to change the formulation that I've given out. And uh, if you find this video a plus on your side, you can subscribe to our channel. You can also like and share because sharing is caring. And also liking it can help the YouTube algorithm make more farmers like you have access to this video. So thank you guys for your time and thank you for watching this video. Till next time, see you around.